guys, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you my settings. So if the video quality in the background isn't as good, then I'm sorry. It's literally just because I recorded it on my Xbox One. So if you enjoy the video, make sure to like, sub and comment. And also, thank you all for 50 subscribers. My channel has been going so fast, and it's all thanks to you guys. So anyway, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so here are my settings. So I got 144 FPS, because that's a very good um, FPS limit if you have a 1050 Ti like I do. I have an 8 colorblind strength with it off. I have 100% brightness. You don't really need to listen to this part because it's literally useless. So on the graphics quality, I've got custom. My 3D resolution is 100%. My view distance is far. My shadows are off. My anti-analyzing is off. My textures are epic because there was a recent reddit post that i seen on youtube and it was about if you put your textures on the highest it can go you'll get more fps by about 5 or 10. i don't know why this happens you can read more about the post if you can find it anywhere so yeah and then my effects are low and my post processing is low and um i didn't know what pros post processing was but when you watch um one fps compared to 244 fps videos if you watch it very carefully when you're like when you're like turning it looks very very good like the game it looks like it's in a movie but if you if you put it on low it doesn't do that and it gives you more fps because this takes up off about 20 fps so never have that on unless you have an extremely good pc and then my v my v sync is off my motion blur is on my show fps is on direct 11 and off so now let's go into the game so my my MS is ninety nine because I'm in because I'm in the middle of installing GTA because it's free on the um, Epic Game Store right now. You've only got a week to get it though, so go there. And then I've got it on language English United States toggle sprint off sprint by default is on. That's really useful. Sprint cancels reloading. It's off. Auto open doors off. I have this off because if someone is um right in front of the door I accidentally open it they can just one pump me very very easily so I don't want that to happen hold to swap pickup I have the off toggle targeting I have the off mark danger when targeting is on this is to mark um if you can see an enemy player you can mark them if you double tap your ping and it will go red indicating that there is a enemy player there in the auto pick up weapons i have that off auto sort consumable to the right i have that on this is very useful so you don't have to quickly quickly um move all your consumables grenades um your meds and your shields to the side it will auto do it for you so that's very useful and I would definitely recommend using that. Building, I have reset building choice off. Turbo building on, definitely keep that on. I have confirmed edit on release on. I don't, it just makes me edit faster in general. You don't have to have it on, but if you're on controller, I would definitely use it as long as keyboard and mouse. Contextual tips, I have that on. Invert view off invert airborne controls off turbo delete in creative mode on 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 then i have records replays off 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 because this will actually up your fps 
because as you can see it will take off hard drive look can reduce performance and take up hard drive space and you do not want that so if we go into the U game UI, you don't really need to know about any of this. This is, does, really does not matter. I have my HUD scale 100, and that's really you need to know. Here's my mouse sensitivity. My mouse and keyboard sensitivity is 13, 13, 17.5, and a 20.1. I have these two off. I have mouse sensitivity multiplier for aircraft 100%. And the invert aircraft mouse controllers, I have that off. Now we're going into the controller options. If you're a controller player and you want low sensitivity and you want to get some low sensitivity um, settings, I would definitely recommend these. So, a controller auto run, I'd recommend having that on. Build immediately, build a pro, definitely on if you're on build a pro. Edit whole time, I do not use that. I, as you can see, I have a custom bind for my edit. Vibration off, because it really annoys you if you have, as soon as you build, it just vibrates your controller and it gets real distractive. So I have that off. Build mode sensitivity multiplier 1.2, edit mode sensitivity multiplier 1.2. I use advanced options. If you want to copy these, I actually used to use these, but my aim sensitivity ADS was a one because it just tracks onto people so easily. But with advanced options, I feel like you can do a lot more with it and it's a lot easier to aim. So if we go into look horizontal speed, we have that as a 31%. Look vertical, look vertical speed, we have that as 30%. And then I have every single thing else, a zero from here. And I have this off. Now we're going down to my aim sensitivity. My ADS look sensitivity speed is a six. My ADS look vertical speed is also a six. Now I did use a 10% boost and it did help me quite a lot. But it's got too fast for me and I can't aim at all. So I've put it back onto zero. My ADS turning boost ramp time, I've got 0 0.10. Now we're getting to the end part. We have look damping time as a 0, 0.00. My look input curve, I have that as a linear. My aim assist strength, 100, obviously. I have my dead zones, just default. I haven't changed them. But controller, I have these. I have this off. 1%, 50%. Now we're going to here. You don't really need to know about this except from 3D headphones. Make sure that's always on. And also visualize sound effects. You can hear the game and you can see where enemies are on your screen. Your chess. Keyboard controls. I'll just scroll through this so you can copy them if you really want to. Okay, if you've copied them, um, they are very good building binds. If you looked at my building binds, they're really easy to use if you're a beginner. But I would recommend using them. Now we go into controller. Here are my um, Xbox One combat controls that are custom. Okay, so if you've got them down now. You can definitely use them, I don't mind. And also, here's another thing that I got off watching a YouTuber called Flea. So if you go on to PlayStation R4, as you can see, I can set my whole thing to PlayStation. And it can change the your game. But I definitely recommend Xbox One because it's so much smoother and looser. Going into my build controls, 
you can just copy everything here. Same for edit and my dead zone. Okay, so if you like the video, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys next one. Peace. Hey guys, so thank you for watching the video. Um, if you enjoyed it, uh, like I said at the beginning, make sure to like, sub, and comment, and another thanks to all subscribing again i don't know how i've reached this milestone of 50 in the past like a month i've reached 50 subscribers i have been grinding as hard as i can just to make content i know it's not the best and it's i've not got the best equipment and all that but i really um I'm grateful for t for the people who are watching my videos. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.